a theory published earlier this year claims our understanding of gravity, that was first proposed by Einstein, could be completely wrong. Now for the first time, this controversial theory has been tested experimentally and has held its ground. An independent study of the distribution of gravity around more than 30,000 galaxies found evidence to back the theory, and if confirmed, it could rewrite physics entirely. Professor Eric Verlind from the University of Amsterdam published the Verlind's Hypothesis of Gravity, earlier this year. The paper was an attempt to solve the mystery of dark matter. When studying stars and galaxies, astronomers have found the forces of gravity appear stronger than expected. The outer regions of galaxies, like our own Milky Way, rotate much faster around the center than can be accounted for by the quantity of ordinary matter like stars, planets and interstellar gases. Traditionally, physicists have explained this inconsistency by assuming there must be something else out there we cannot see called dark matter. Dark matter particles have never been observed, despite many efforts to detect them and astronomers currently infer their presence through observing certain gravitational effects on the matter we can see. Professor Verlind says we need to rethink gravity, removing dark matter from the equation completely. To do so, his controversial theory suggests gravity is not a fundamental force of nature at all, but rather an emergent phenomenon. Professor Verlin's theory started out as a paper published in 2010 and it had remained untested, until now. A research team from Leiden University in the Netherlands has finally tested it, providing the first experimental evidence the controversial hypothesis could be true. The team, led by astronomer Margot Brouwer from Leiden Observatory, looked closely at the distribution of matter in more than 30,000 galaxies. They found the distribution of the matter could be explained without dark matter when using Verlin's hypothesis of gravity. The researchers used gravitational lensing, a visual effect in which the galaxies closer to Earth bend the light emitting from more distant ones, a well-established way of measuring a galaxy's mass. The gravity of galaxies bends space, such that the light traveling through this space is bent. This bending of line allows astronomers to measure the distribution of gravity around galaxies, even up to distances a hundred times larger than the galaxy itself, 